It's found in thousands of products we consume every day, from candies and cookies to drinks and snacks. Now Red Dye 40 is being blamed for this temper tantrum. And while the government says it's safe for children, the debate over Red Dye has raged for more than 20 years. New tonight, as Dave Young shows us, a growing number of parents are calling for change. Dave? Yeah, Ron, you know, they say you are what you eat, but many parents here in Colorado say what their kids are eating is making them act crazy. And they say they want the medical community to recognize what Dr. Mom has been saying for a long time. I just bought it. This is four-year-old Torin. And this, says his Arvada family, is four-year-old Torin on red dye number 40. It starts with stomping off, running, and then he'll start throwing things and screaming and saying, I hate you. Punching, screaming, biting, kicking, just completely uncontrollable. He went into a fit, like... I totally, uh, suddenly I didn't know what to do with it. Doctors told them Torin had ADHD or was bipolar and needed medication. But a friend suggested they get him off red dye. He was just swinging back and forth very violently. And we were all just kind of like... The cold six-year-old son Lowell was having the same issues until she says she made the red dye connection. It's in children's medicines. It's in what you wash your hands with. It's in foods. In fact, the controversial food additive is found in a startling number of products. Everything from toothpaste to yogurt to soda. We consume a whopping 3 million pounds of red dye number 40 in America a year. And these moms who don't know each other are angry about that. In both cases, they say they saw dramatic improvements after cutting exposure to food dyes. We have absolute proof. Three month, We go three months without red dye 40 and then accidentally give them something and, I mean, he just, I had to literally restrain him. I find that, you know, the science just now is catching up to what a lot of parents have been observing for a long, long time. As a naturopath, Nelson says he's seen the impact from red dye for many years, but the medical community plays down any effect on children's behavior. In the best designed studies, there is a very small percentage of children who do seem to have some change in their behavior. But the Center for Science and the Public Interest has stepped up pressure on the Food and Drug Administration to limit or ban red dye number 40. Their efforts intensified after a recent British study which prompted red dye's removal from products in the UK and other parts of Europe. If my kid was having this problem, I absolutely would take it out immediately. And as a quick online search will show you, thousands of parents are saying the same thing in spite of the medical community's reluctance to acknowledge how widespread the problem may be. I'm very frustrated with, um, with the medical community for not recognizing this. This topical is so controversial, in fact, that none of the major hospitals in the Denver area that we contacted would provide a doctor for our story. Ron? Dave, what are pediatricians saying about this? Well, Ron, I actually did find one local pediatrician who says she counsels parents to get their kids off of red dye if they're having these kinds of issues, but after initially agreeing to do an on-camera interview, she later simply said, I can't. Mm -hmm. Ron. All right, Dave, thanks.